Today we're going to take a look at another way that you may want to use the image gallery component. And in this case, we've got a button that's embedded within a grid component. And when we click on the button, it's going to call up the images associated with that given project. So it's, it's referencing a directory in a table that's referenced within that row. So in this case, we're looking at the Washington project. And we can bring up uh, information specifically about that image. This information is also pulled from a table. And this information down in here is all of the EXIF information that's pulled directly from the image itself, if it contains EXIF information. And if you've asked the image gallery component to show us the EXIF information. Well, you can just easily cycle through the images. On a tablet or a mobile device, you can swipe the image and it will swipe. Uh, in like a browser like Safari, you can zoom in on this. Actually, let me go ahead and just fire up Safari so you can see it. So here we're doing a live preview within Safari. I'm going to go ahead and click on a button. We'll bring up an image. And because we're on Safari, it, it understands that we can zoom in. So here I'm just using the mouse wheel and just zooming in on, on the image. If I double click, it'll come out. If I double click, it'll go back in. I can pan. You'll notice that we have momentum scrolling. You'll notice that we can scroll with momentum scrolling within the information panel. Again, because we're within a WebKit browser. And you notice a play button. In this case, uh, text to speech is supported. If we click on play, Goshen, CD built by Shaw Builders in 2009. The audio will play. Project manager was Bob Moore, now VP of mobile technology for Alpha Software. Paul Hinkle, architect. Okay, so uh, if I click on any of these buttons, we're referencing the images, again, that are specific to these different records within the grid, that are displayed within the grid. So let's take a look at how we do that. I'm going to come into the uh, design mode. And what we've got is, uh, in this case, I've just set up a DBF database the fields, the architect, city, state, and then we have an image directory. And that image directory is a hidden field. But this is where the image gallery component is pulling the image directory. And then it scans the thum a thumbnail directory that's embedded within that, presents all the thumbnails which allows us then to see the full-size images. There's a button that's inserted here. I've got a show hide expression that says if the image directory isn't a null string, then go ahead and show this. And when we look at the action, which is open image gallery component, we can see we're opening up an image gallery called IG2, and the argument bindings. In this case, there's one argument. The argument is image underbar dir. And here we're referencing the image underbar directory field with this placeholder. And this is done with the set argument value here. And you can see the We've inserted a field placeholder, which is image underbar directory. We've also specified that we want the a window to be a modal pop-up. When we click on the button, we want the title to be the project field name. And this is a placeholder here that, that does that. We've specified the window height and width. And in this case, we're not using any animation. We're just displaying the window. So that's the functionality that 
you've seen. Now something else that we'd like to do with this. We'd like to display this grid component within a tabbed UI. So let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up a tabbed UI that I've created that has the reference grid in it. In this case when I click on current projects it's going to bring up the grid component that we just looked at. It's styled a little bit differently because I styled the tabbed UI with the night style which gives us a nice dark background which works I think it works very nicely for images. And so now when I click on the button we see our image gallery component. You can click on any image in here. It'll bring up further information associated with that image. And of course we've asked for the EXIF information. If there were GPS coordinates embedded within that EXIF information then we could also bring up a Google Map. So I've also included another component that's just an image gallery. And in this case I haven't bound the image directory to anything. I've used the default value which is just images. So it will pick up any images that are contained within the images subdirectory. And in this case I've got about 125 images. And this, this image right here I know for a fact has some mapping information. So we can see the Google map working. Um, this is kind of cool. If we resize and collapse, you'll notice that the map resized. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. The image will center on the next image that I bring in. So because I resize the container, you'll see the image has resized and centered itself. I'm going to go ahead and expand that tab again. Go ahead and pick another image and you'll see the image has resized and centered. So there's two ways that you're looking at using the tabbed UI here. One is just displaying an image gallery and the other is showing us a grid component with buttons associated with the uh, image gallery to bring up. So I think this is a, a useful technique in using a, a image gallery component within a grid within a tabbed UI. So let's take a look at how we did that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and build a new tabbed UI with those components. So we'll jump into Web Component. We're going to jump into the tabbed UI Builder. In this case, let's just go ahead and uh, drop in. The first component is just going to be the image gallery. So this is IG2, and this is the same image gallery component that is referenced within the grid component that we're going to insert. But in this case, we're just bringing in the image gallery component, and we're not setting any arguments. We're just going with the default, which is the image, pick up all of the images within the images uh, directory. And let's go ahead and add another component. And in this case, we're adding the current projects with IG2. I'm going to go ahead and, in this case, let's go ahead and we'll set the uh, button text to current projects. And we'll just call the We'll do the same with the pane title. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So here I've got my image gallery component coming up. And here I've got my current projects grid. 
And here you'll see the image gallery component coming up. It doesn't quite fit in here, so let's see if we can bring it up. And this time, let's bring it up in Firefox. So here we are in Firefox. Let's bring up current projects. And here we can see all the different images associated with this project. So here we're showing descriptive information that's pulled from an image table that's referenced through the image gallery component. And then down here, we see all the EXIF information. And that's all referenced within the actual image itself. So I hope this has given you another idea on how you may want to use the image gallery component by embedding a grid component that references the image gallery right within the tab UI. So you can build some incredibly sophisticated applications very easily without writing any code. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.